tell me something I don't know. First grade, and today we're going to talk about place values, specifically tens and ones. We want our students to be able to show that two digit numbers represent tens and ones. It's important for them to understand place value because they're going to use that when they add and subtract all through school, all through life. Um, so it's important for them to understand that where the number, the digit is positioned, is how much that is worth. For example, in the number 27, the tens place has a two. That 10 is worth 20. In the number 72, in the ones place, we have a two, and that's worth two. In first grade, we start out with 10 frames. 10 frames have 10 squares, and when we put a dot in each one, that means we have a 10. So we count this as 10, and then as we're counting on, we go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. There's some other activities you can do that we call bundling, and Mrs. Heinecker is going to show you how we bundle cereal. We can use cereal or beads or cubes or pennies at home to do this, and she will give you an example. So, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we count this like 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So that's 35. It's much easier to do that than counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, all the way up. So this is just an easier way, and we call that bundling. Another thing we have is using beads on pipe cleaners, and you put 10 beads on a pipe cleaner, and she'll show you how you count that. 10, 20, 20 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Kids can even turn those into bracelets when they're done. The other one is called Roll It, Make It. And you have two dice and a piece of paper into fourths. And you'll roll your tens first. She got a six, so that's six tens. And now you roll your ones. And she got a three. So we have 63. She's going to show how to do 10 sticks and ones to represent 63. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63. And you can also have your child write their numbers over the top.